Welcome back to the FM Connection. Here is the Content Creators Premier League Prediction Contest for this weekend's football. My name is Anders and you can find me at AndersBazFM on Twitter and YouTube. Remember to subscribe to the FM Connection for more fantastic content. Right, into this week's predictions and we've got five games on the docket once again this week. First up is Newcastle versus Liverpool. Now this one will probably be the toughest test for Liverpool's title aspirations as Newcastle are on a great run of form. But I think that Klopp's men will have just about enough to scrape the three points away from home this weekend. Newcastle 1, Liverpool 2. Next up, Southampton versus Crystal Palace. Two evenly matched sides that are both in the mire of mid-table obscurity. If any game has draw written all over it, I think it was this one. I'm going to go a ball draw. Southampton nil, Palace nil. Uh, Watford versus Burnley is up next. And this could be the game to save Burnley's Premier League uh, skin. But I can't for one second bring myself to predict a victory for the Dingles. It has to be a Watford victory. Pure, unadulterated bias on my part. Watford won, Burnley nil, as it should be. Uh, Wolves against Brighton is next up. And Wolves are coming in off the back of two defeats uh, to Newcastle and Burnley back-to-back. So we'll need something to stop the rot. But Brighton aren't exactly lighting things up at the minute either to throwing away points against Southampton. I'm on the fence here, I think. So I think I'm going to go with another draw. Wolves 2, Brighton 2. And then the final game is Leeds against Manchester City. Now the home side could really do with a victory to get themselves out of the danger zone. But Man City have been impressive in the league recently. Last weekend's demolition job of Watford is case in point. Now, I think Leeds will give it a good go. But ultimately, City are going to keep powering on and take this title battle right to the end of the season. Leeds 1, Manchester City 4. Right, that is it for me this week. I will see you next time. And here are the rest of the predictions. Hello, my name is Tony FM DNA. These are my predictions for this week. If you like a little bit of FM content, my channel will be in the description below, so go check it out with everyone else's. Go check everyone out. Right, these are the predictions. What are we starting with? We're going with Newcastle versus Liverpool. Is anyone going to beat Liverpool this season? I'm going to go with a 3-0 Liverpool win. They're too good. Newcastle hit and miss. They're not too bad, but Liverpool. Liverpool, Man City are on another level. Then we got Southampton versus Crystal Palace. And I really want Southampton to win, but they've been dreadful lately absolutely dreadful but today it's gonna be 2-0 to Southampton come on the Saints right then we got Watford versus Burnley Burnley fighting for their lives and doing amazing so this I'm gonna go for a one-all draw a one-all draw I don't think Watford are gonna be that much of a pushover or are they they mostly really will be but I'm gonna go for a one-all then we got Wolves versus Brighton it's a tricky one a very very tricky game could go either way. Do you give home advantage? I gave home advantage last time, I think, to Wolves when I predicted on them. And they let me down. I'm going to go for a surprise 1-0. Is it going to be a surprise? A 1-0 away win. Brighton, 1-0. Then we've got Leeds versus Main City. Leeds are playing a little bit better. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say 3-0 to Main City. They're not going to get a sniff, are they? They're my predictions. Don't forget to check out my channel, everyone else's channel. And I will see you next week for some more predictions. Hey guys, it's FM Jollo TV. You can catch me on Road to Legends, Road to Legends a football chat show, and FM Jollo TV on all platforms. We're doing this week's game predictions for the FM Connection. We're going in straight away with Newcastle versus Liverpool. Uh, I think Liverpool are going to win the league. Uh, Newcastle are playing well, but I think they'll have too much for them. I'm going 3 1 to Liverpool. Southampton versus Palace. Uh, I am going to go for a 2-1 win to Palace. Next up, we have Watford versus Burnley. Uh, relegation six points here. And I'm going to say Burnley are going to get the result. And it's going to be 2-1 to Burnley versus Watford. Wolves versus Brighton next. And I am going to go for a 2 Two draw in Wolves versus Brighton. 
uh, both having decent seasons. Uh, next, we've got Leeds versus Man City, and I think Man City will have too much for Leeds, and I'm going to go 3-1. So that's my week's predictions for the FM Connection. Make sure you check them out on all platforms alongside all the other competitors. Make sure you check us all out on Rota Legends, Rota Legends Football Chat Show, and FM Jono TV. Make sure you check out this week's podcast with Second Yellow Card. And we will see you soon. Hi folks, Corky Blues here, and these are my FM Connection predictions for the weekend. First game we have is Newcastle at home to Liverpool. Newcastle have been playing very well recently, but Liverpool have just come off the back of a fantastic win against Villarreal in the Champions League. I can only see this going one way. I can see Liverpool giving Newcastle a bit of a thumping. Uh, I think it's going to be 3-0 to Liverpool. Second game we have is Southampton versus Crystal Palace. Both teams are relatively good at going forward, not so good at defending. I can see there being a few goals in this. I think it's going to end up in a draw, to be honest. I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw. Uh, third game we have is Watford v Burnley. Uh, obviously a relegation scrap this game. Uh, Burnley have picked up a little bit of form, despite the unexplained second of Sean Dyche. Uh, Watford seemingly offer nothing going forward. They're... A bit of a Norwich, a bit of a Fulham. They're one of these UU clubs that are in this like little mini league that's between the Premier League and the Championship. I can see one goal winning a 2-1, 1-0. I don't think Watford are going to score in this one, to be honest. I'm going to go with a 1-0 Burnley win. Fourth game we have is uh, Wolves versus Brighton. Again, I think this is going to be a very tight game, but for very different reasons in that both are good football insides. I can see the home advantage being key in this. I think both teams will be tactically very strong, but I can see Wolves stealing a winner 1-0. And the final game, uh, Leeds versus Man City. I'm sorry to say, Seer especially, um, I don't think Leeds are going to get anything out of this. I can't really even see them scoring, if I'm going to be honest. Like Man City also coming off the back of a fantastic win in the Champions League against uh, Real Madrid. Granted, they did concede three goals Real Madrid have obviously a much better attack than Leeds um, I can see Man City taking this um, I'm going to go with a 3-0 victory to Man City so those are my predictions for the weekend um, don't forget you can follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Corky Blues Tuesday nights at 7pm and you can find me on Twitter at Corky Blues. And don't forget to subscribe to the FM Connections channel as well. Where you'll find more great videos of people like me making stupid predictions and getting them wrong. Uh, but that's all for me. You have a nice weekend and we'll see you next week. Hello everybody, it's me, FM Fizzy. And I'm back again with another round of Premier League predictions. Drop me a follow on Twitter, at FM underscore Fizzy. Follow my journey, or just for general football chit chat. Anyway, let's crack on. So in the first game, we've got Newcastle at home to Liverpool. Newcastle winning four in a row. Liverpool, they're on fire, aren't they? Newcastle last beat in Liverpool in 2015, where, get this, Colaccini were the captain of Newcastle. Now, that I, if that ain't a blast from pass, then what is? I feel like Liverpool will be too strong for Newcastle, so I'm going to go Newcastle 1, Liverpool 3. In the second game, we've got Southampton at Oba Palace. Southampton with one win in nine. Palace with no wins in four. Palace finding it a little bit hard to get over that line at times, although they have been impressive. I feel that they'll be too strong for Southampton. But Southampton do have James Ward-Prowse and he can bang a free kick in from anywhere. So I'm going to go Southampton one, Palace two. The third game, we've got Watford against Burnley. Watford losing four in a row. Burnley winning two in a row. Looking like the May be up for a fight to get out of these relegation places and try and regain their place in the Premier League for next season. Watford have been dire, but I have a feeling Watford will get something out of this game. I'm going to go Watford 1, Burnley 1. In the fourth game, we've got Wolves versus Brighton. Wolves losing three of the last four. Brighton with only one defeat in five. Form would suggest that Brighton would be favourites for this, but weighing this up against Huck Wolves playing at home, I'm going to go with Wolves 1, Brighton 1. And in the last game, we've got Leeds United versus Manchester City. With Leeds United unbeaten in five, looking a lot harder to beat under Jesse Marsh. The performance hasn't been anything pretty to look at, but we've seen the grind out results at the minute, and like I say, we look a bit hard to beat. But we are playing a Man City team who have just beat Real Madrid, should have possibly put seven or eight past them. They've only got one defeat in the last 15, and they did beat Leeds 7-0 last time they played us, which was definitely a day to forget. If you look at head-to-heads in the last five, Leeds have won two, City have won two, and they've drawn the other. But you can be playing well. You can be looking hard to beat. 
City can still turn you over. So unfortunately for me and all other Leeds fans, I'm going with Leeds United 1, Manchester City 4. So just to recap, Newcastle 1, Liverpool 3, Southampton 1, Palace 2, Watford 1, Burnley 1, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1, Brighton 1, and Leeds United 1, Manchester City 4. I'm FM Fizzy. Like I say, drop me a follow on Twitter at FM underscore Fizzy. Let's do this. Hello everybody, Frankly FM 84 here. Welcome back to the FM Connection. And it's that time of week again where all the content creators come together to predict the Premier League games for the weekend. So we have five more games this weekend. Let's start off with Newcastle versus Liverpool. Newcastle are a team that have started to turn things around. They've quietly crept up the table, got themselves away from the relegation zone. As you may imagine, with a team that spent the kind of money that they did in January. Liverpool still battling for four trophies, one already in the bag. The other three are within reach. However, they need Man City to drop points. So I think the Liverpool train needs to keep going, as I've already revealed. Being a Liverpool fan, I'm not going to go against my own team at this point of the season. I am going to go with Liverpool to beat Newcastle 3-1. Southampton against Crystal Palace is the next game up. Southampton... Such a hit and miss team. Cannot gauge them at all. Uh, if I had to back them week in, week out, or even if I was to predict this game probably two or three times in the next couple of days, I'd probably come out with a different outcome. Crystal Palace, they seem to have their bubble burst by the FA Cup final. Struggled against Leeds, although I suppose they did have the better of the chances in that game, but just could not put Leeds away. Um, I think this one could be 2-1 to Southampton. Like I said, on a different day, I would probably pick a different scoreline. But uh, yeah, going to go Southampton 2-1 in this game. Uh, Watford and Burnley, two relegation teams. Watford play well one week, don't play well the next week. Burnley have become exactly the same. However, they have been on a roll since Sean Dyche left. I know it was absolutely ludicrous that they sacked him. And a lot of people probably wished that they would go down. But Everton are in such poor form that Burnley have managed to get themselves a few points in the past couple of weeks. And they've overtook them, albeit with Everton having a game in hand. But I can see Burnley continuing that run in this game. I think Burnley are going to go to Watford. They're going to get three points. And I think they will do it with a 2-1 victory. Wolves and Brighton. These two teams are pretty much the same uh, in my eyes. Both teams are okay defensively, both teams are okay attacking, neither of them really uh, do too much out of the ordinary, uh, I think they're going to just match up against each other and this is just going to be a 1-1 draw, I can't see any other outcome than that. And then finally on to the last game, it's Leeds against Manchester City, as I said Liverpool really need Manchester City to slip up at this time of year. Leeds, they've been a lot better since Marcello Bielsa has gone. Probably should say that a bit quieter because a lot of people are again outraged when Bielsa was sacked. But Marsh has come in. He has done a good job to get them away from the relegation zone. Uh, I don't think, though, they're going to be troubling Manchester City. I think City turn up here. And I don't think it'll be as clear-cut as a lot of City's other games. But I do think Man City will win this game 2-0. So then, a quick recap of the results uh, I'm going to go with Liverpool to beat Newcastle 3-1. I'm going to go with Southampton to beat Crystal Palace 2-1. I'm going to go with Watford to lose to Burnley 2-1. I'm going to go with Wolves and Brighton to draw 1-1. I'm going to go with Manchester City to beat Leeds 2-0. We are coming to the business end of the season. That league table is getting tight. Again, there were some good performances on the weekend. We're still looking to rise up the table, though, and catch those at the top. Can we do it this week? You'll have to write down the results check them and come back and see the league table on the FM Connection website. For this week's results though, that's me complete. I'll be passing you on to the next person. But before I leave you, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button also to help the channel out both here on the FM Connection. If you want to pop over to my channel, that is in the description down below too. What is up guys? See you here and here are predictions for this weekend's games. Leeds are in it, but I wish they weren't. Here we go. Newcastle versus Liverpool. I'm going 2-1 Liverpool. Although they're in Europe, they did smash Villarreal. They had nothing. Nothing in Villarreal was shocking. And they will still want to keep this title race well and firmly on. So, as it is in Joyland, I'm giving them a goal. 2-1 Liverpool. Southampton and Palace, two extremely boring teams. I'm going 0-0. If anyone's going to win, it'll be Palace, but it's going to be really dull, isn't it? Watford versus Burnley. Burnley, 
they're, they're safe, aren't they? Let's be fair. They're just safe. It's going to be 2-0 Burnley. Watford are a joke. Enjoy the championship. Wolves versus Brighton. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. Same situation here. Two teams you can't really separate. Wolves just seem to be on a collision course and not to get into Europe because they just don't want to. Probably don't fancy midweek games, which is fair enough, really, because I wouldn't either. 1-1. One, one. It's There's a lot of boring games this weekend. Leeds United versus Manchester City at Ellen Road. We are going to score because we are very chaotic, but City probably going to score three. So I'm going to say 3-1 to City. That's being optimistic. There we go, guys. There are predictions. Only one game I really care about. So yeah, that'll see how that goes. See you next week.